Okay, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is Aiden, and today this is my first video by myself. Um, no mic today, but first time for everything. Um, so yeah, it feels a bit weird doing one by myself, but uh, I digress. I will try my best, but um, as you can see today, we have the lovely new Speed Duel Scars of Battle set. I'm uh, quite excited for this one, especially with the um, addition of Gifried the Swordmaster. Uh, as well as Bandit Keith, I think, is getting introduced uh, in this set as well. I think he's got a few new skill cards, so I'm intrigued to see what we can pull today. He said, I've had a look at the set before it came out, so I know of some of the good cards in here, but um, in all honesty, I forgot quite a, quite a few of this stuff already, so uh, we'll just crack into it and get on with it. Let me get this open. Okay. So I'm uh, looking forward to this one because um, I don't get as much chance to play Yu-Gi-Oh nowadays. So speed duels for me is the best way for me to play with the time frame that I've got. Um, it's just so simple to follow. It's so easy to build decks. Um, yeah, it's just so simple to play. Um, but let's get to it. So if I remember, these are yeah four cards per pack. So I'm going to take one out. Let's move this over a little bit. And let's have a look what we can get. So I don't think I was here for the um, Arena of Lost Souls unboxing. So um, I can't actually remember what came... Like rarity bumps, because I know there's like ultras and supers, but I can't remember like ratio wise uh, what we actually got. So, break draw, we've got screech. I would say this was like a good card for water deck, so it's a nice uh, addition. Um, blast sphere and cabazores. Gotta love those vanilla monsters, man. So yeah, it's four cards per pack. Said so I'm hoping to pull the Gear Free the Swordmaster. He's like the main one for this because you can build a pretty powerful uh, warrior deck, and they get some nice support in here as well. So we got Master Craftsman Gamil. Uh, was this one Danny Pon? Beginning of the end, especially with that artwork, that is just no. And another Blast Sphere. Um, Iron Blacksmith Kotetsu. I was kind of hoping this would be a super because, like, this will go well with the um, Gear Free deck to search your equip spells. Um, but only a common. And that's cool, though. Gravity Axe, Graal, Bokoichi, the Frightening Car, and Fortress Wheels Oath. So, yeah, I remember Fortress Wheels Oath is in this one. It kind of, like, didn't make sense because. I feel this should have been in um, Attack from the Deep as uh, water support, but it is what it is. We get it in this set instead. Okay. So, insect armor with laser cannon. So, there's a bit of a weird one. I'm not sure if they like got support for this in the uh, starter decks or if it's just in... If it comes in this, so you've got to like buy this and the starter decks to make it like a good insect deck, but I could be wrong. Uh, Gatekeeper, we got to get some more of that. Uh, Bandit Keith support, Empress Mantis, and beginning of the end. Ugh, oh, we've already got two beginning of the ends. That's just not great. That is the beginning, that is the start of the end. And uh, what have we got? Infernity Dwarf. Fortress Whale's Oath. Drac Tyrannus. That's a really nice card, especially with the Rex to support this out. So, beefs up your deck quite a lot. Said so We're still pretty much in like a, a beat stick meta. Like, we're putting powerful monsters on the board, like, wind you the games in Speed Duel. So, a card like this is definitely nice to have. And we have our first super rare. We have a Barrel Dragon. Kind of like that card. So, that. He would work well with the um, My Lucky Day skill. The only thing is with this one, you have to have 
toss a coin three times, destroy one monster your opponent controls with at least two of the results ahead. So, I mean, you can call like one of the, the die rolls, um, the coin flip, sorry, but yeah, maybe you wouldn't want to chance it that much. I'll put this to the side as a, as a rare. Right, got blue eyed zombie, gravity axe growl, gatekeeper, and spellbinding circle. Always nice to see some classic Yugi cards in there. Okay, what have we got? Another Danny Pon, Magical Plant, Mandragola, Fire Reaper. Oh, these, these vanillas sometimes. Okay. First Ultra Rare, pretty nice. So two, two um, rares in a row. Metal Morph is quite a powerful card. I mean, I still actually use this card in Duel Links. It's uh, still a great card. Target one monster on the field, equip that to this target. It gains 300 attack. If it attacks, gains attack equal to half the attack of the attack target during damage calculation only. So um, I didn't know. I knew this was in the set, but I didn't know what rarity it was in. So to have this in an Ultra is uh, pretty nice. So let's move that over. So one Super, one Ultra, and... How many packs have we been through? Like six, seven? I wish it was like kind of like five cards in the pack, but four, I guess, will do. Um, slot Machine, uh, Pendulum Machine, Drak Tyrannus, and Screech again. So you guys have a point where you start seeing like all the doubles, which is uh, it's never fun, but it's a small set. It's bound to happen. Um, Insect Armor with Laser Cannon, Bukwichi, the Frightening Car, Machine Conversion Factory. I, I keep thinking that's Machine Conversation Factory. No, Machine Conversion Factory. And then Release Restraint. So we got one half of the, um, the Gear Freed, the Sword Master combo. Ray, we pulled the boss monster of the, well, the Rituals anyway, but... Fortress Whale's Oath, Fire Reaper, Danny Pawn, and a major upset. Can't even remember seeing that card before. Never mind. So yeah, this is like a, a little bit weird for me because I, I don't do unboxings by myself. I'm always like, Mike's always here as well, so we kind of like bounce off each other. But he's done ones by himself before, so it's actually a lot harder than it looks. Um, Empress Mantis. Break draw, Bakoichi the frightening car, and blue eyed silver zombie. So, obviously, any of you players out there who play speed duels, um, do you enjoy it or do you think it was a good move for Konami to make? Because um, I guess a lot of these are just reprints, aren't they? But I personally love speed duels, I think it's a great way for new people to get into the game, and um, it's just a different um, way of playing from normal Yu Gi Oh!, which is a uh, I kind of enjoy. So we've got Screech again, seven completed, Command Knight. Oh man, I was hoping this would be like a super. It's always a nice super rare, but never mind. Blast Sphere. Okay, so we've got four packs on this side. Machine con no. Machine Conversion Factory. Blue-eyed silver zombie, Empress Mantis, damn, there's the placer, and Troop Dragon. Super rare. This card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard. Special summon one Troop Dragon from your deck. Man, these are like classic. I, I, I remember these cards when they came out, but I never really used them. But Speed Duels, it would see some, uh, some play, I guess. So two Supers and one Ultra so far. Not bad. Kind of happy I pulled the Metal Morph to be honest. It was one I was looking for. I just completely forgot that it was in this set. Insect Armor with Laser Cannon, Spellbinding Circle, Screech, and Magical Plant Mandragola. Well, yeah, I am saying that right. I was like, man, am I going to butcher that name as well? Okay. Spellbinding Circle. Abazools, Slot Machine, and Command Knight. Cool. So, 
Okay, no, we got more packs than I thought. These packs are like so thin. It's if you actually think you've got more than you actually have. Okay. Fighting Spirit. Uh, this goes well with the uh, Gifri deck. So that's actually a nice one to have. Insect Armor with Laser Cannon, Fortress Wheels Oath, and Cabazool. So I guess Cabazools will go well in the uh, Dinosaur deck, especially with um, Rex and Weevil's starter decks coming out. Okay. Ally of Justice, Core Destroyer. That's the first one we pulled. Okay. Only a common. Seven completed. Break, draw, and release restraint. There we go. So I've got two release restraints. I just need the... Um, what was it? Defree the Swordmaster now. Hopefully we can pull it, because that guy's definitely going to be an ultra. We just know it. So we've got Infernity Dwarf, Spellbinding Circle, Iron Blacksmith, Kotetsu, and... Ooh, very nice. Book of Life. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think this card has ever come out in Ultra Rare. Is this like a a bigger rarity bump? bit like um, Amazon S Village, wasn't it? It came out in Ultra Rare, but it was only in Rare before? I think this was at least a super, so... Could be wrong, let me know in the comments if I am, but... Ultra Rare Book of Life. Really, really nice. Helps uh, those zombie decks out a great deal. So we got one pack left on the right side, I think it was. Habazools, Magical Plant Mandragola, Ally of Justice Core Destroyer, and Eternal Rest. Destroy all monsters with a quick card. The longest time I always thought that was destroy all zombie monsters on the field. I just always thought that's what it did, but there we are. Let me move this pile away. So from the first side, we got Barrel Dragon, Troop Dragon, Super, and we got Book of Life and Metal Morph Ultra Rays. Um... Quite happy with that, to be honest, especially the two Ultras. I mean, worst case, we don't pull Gear Freeze. Two of these cards are not bad ones to pull at all. So I'll just move these over a little bit. And we'll recap at the end exactly what we got again. So let's get on with the other side. Let's go through this one a bit quicker. Oh, spoiler alert. See, I'm kind of happy that they put it at the back so you know you've got a skill. But equally, it like, kind of spoils this price. But we'll see. Gatekeeper, Fire Reaper, Security Orb. Now, this is interesting. I thought this would have been um, an Ultra or Super when I looked at it uh, in the card database. It, I, I, for some reason, thought it was going to be a lot higher in rarity, but just a common, my mistake. Servants of the Fallen King. So, some more bone support there. It's really nice. Once per turn, you can send one level 3 or lower zombie normal monster from your deck to the graveyard. So, you could make some sort of, like, zombie turbo with this, using, like, Zombina, Book of Life. So, <laughs> to be honest, I'm actually quite happy I pulled that skill card. And I think that makes that four skills for bones now. Yeah, I think he has four skills already. So we got Master Craftsman Gamil. The beginning of the end. Oh, there's the playset. Seven completed and slot machine. Let's see if we can pull like a Bandit Keith skill card. Pretty sure he's got one in here. It'd be nice. Launcher Spider. That's our first one, I believe. Pendulum Machine. I'm Blacksmith Kotetsu and Security Orb. I'm just so happy Rex has got um, a deck in Speed Duels because he's my favourite character in the um, TV series and I'm so glad to... I, I was using him in Duel Links as well but to get him in Speed Duels is really nice as well. Uh, Magical Pant Mandragola once again, Jurak Tyrannus... Danny Pawn and Spell Power Grasp. So I think this will work with Spell Counter decks because we already had like a Apprentice Magician in the last set. And um, we've got Dark Red Enchanter, I believe. So, I mean, 
you can definitely build some uh, interesting decks with the with this set. You can mix it with the old sets with the new decks as well. So that's pretty good. Machine conversion, not conversation. Ally of Justice, Core Destroyer, Screech, and Security Orb. Okay. Empress Mantis, kind of getting sick of seeing this one. Pendulum Machine, Fortress Whale, and Crystal Seer is our other super rare. Excavate the top two cards of your deck, add one of them to your hand, place the other on the bottom of your deck. Definitely would see some use, especially Apprentice Magician to summon this one out. Pretty nice. Oh, the first pack that went horrifically wrong. Okay. Still in search of that gear freed. See if we can get it still. Spell Power Grasp, Launch a Spider, Infinity Dwarf, and Command Knight. Thus completing our playset, I believe. Eternal Rest, Drac Tyrannus, Release Restraint, and Spell Power Grasp. Come on, Gear Freed. Give it to me, please. Fortress Whale, Master Craftsman Galil, Release Restraint, and. Oh, okay. I'm happy now. That's what I was looking for. I was like waiting for this to be like a common or something, then I would have been sad, but still. Oh, I love this card. So I, I, I built like a variant of this in Dual Links. It was quite powerful early on. Uh, not so much these days, but... I mean, the speed duels with how fresh it still is, this card is uh, definitely a game changer, especially with the equip spells. Destroying monsters on the field is uh, quite powerful at the moment. So, yeah, I'm actually really happy with that one. So I think I've, with the Metal Morph and Gear Freed, I've actually pulled the ones I wanted from this set, but... Who knows, we might be surprised by something else. Um, Fighting Spirit, Spellbinding Circle, a major upset, and Fortress Realm. That was a major upset, again, another Fortress Whale, but that's cool. I'm just waiting for the day a Hungry Burger is a ritual card. I want it in Speed Duels. I want it now. Fortress Whale's Oath, Commander Knight, Blue-Eyed Silver Zombie, and Eternal Rest. Okay, Fire Reaper, Launch a Spider, Break Draw, and Pendulum Machine. So we're getting the machines, but we're not getting the Bandit Keith skill card. Will I just have jinxed my luck? Nope, no skill card in this one. Okay. Focus, Blasphere, Cabazools, Gatekeeper, and Danny Pond. Oh, I, I hate the artwork of Danny Pond, honestly. They just could have done so much more with it. Yeah, because beginning of the end. I'm just I've just had enough of seeing this card, honestly. Fighting spirit, Kotetsu and slot machine. Three packs to go. Can we get a skill card for Bandit Keith? Bokuichi the Frightening Car, oh, I'm sick of saying this one, Mandragola, Insect Armor with Laser Cannon, and Spell Power Grasp. Two packs of Destiny, come on, come on, oh, 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 there it is, there it is. I don't actually know what his skill card does, I just knew he had one in the set. Empress Mantis, Gravity Axe Growl, Infinity Dwarf, and Spell Proof Armor. Pretty nice artwork. Activate this skill during your main phase. All machine monsters you control are unaffected by your opponent's spell effects. You can normal summon machine normal monsters with one less tribute. If a non-machine monster in, is in your graveyard, flip this skill over. This skill can only be used once per duel. So it definitely has his uses. I mean, he's got quite a few like one tribute monsters, but they're not particularly powerful. So you might be able to find 
some use with a skill card, but nonetheless, still nice to have a uh, bandit key support. Last pack. Launcher Spider, Drac Tyrannus, a major upset, and Gravity Axe Growl. So, let's recap our rears. So, from this side, well, from the left side, we got Gifri the Swordmaster. Oh, very nice artwork. Really, really like this card. Spellproof Armor. So, again, nice to get the Bandit Key support. Servants of the Fallen King, for those zombie players out there. Makes the deck a lot more powerful, more consistent. Nice to have. And we had Crystal Seer, Troop Dragon, and Barrel Dragon, and then the other Ultras, Book of Life, and Metal Morph. So again, I mean, we pulled. I pulled the ones I wanted... I mean, Night Beam is another Ultra in this set as well. Um, I would have liked to have pulled that, but I mean, I can't be dishappy with what we've pulled today. But um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of this set. I said again, do you like speed duels? Is it not for you? So let me know what you think uh, in the comments. But if you did enjoy this video and you want to see some more speed duel stuff, because I'm definitely looking to put more stuff on the channel. Um, also, let me know in the comments with like what kind of stuff you want to see. Um, but yeah, like, comment, subscribe, the usual stuff. Mike is normally the best for this kind of stuff, but I'm filling. I'm trying my best. But um, yeah, um, until the next time, it's peace out from me, guys.